The last few chapters of Wano have actually been kind of crazy and unfortunately they don't have too much to do with the story of Wano itself but more so the outside world. Should that affect my rating of Wano or should it not? Regardless, Aramaki pulled up, Green Bull, Ryokugyo, whatever name you prefer. He pulls up on the scabbards. He's like, Bring me straw hat Luffy. Momo's like, nah, 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 nah. who do you think you are just stepping foot in my country asking for straw hat Luffy? Number one, straw hat Luffy doesn't have time for you. Number two, do you know who you're talking to right now? I'm the Shogun, motherfucker. Then he's like, Tch, what you mean you're Shogun? Who is that? A pink dragon? Whoa. And then Momo's like, I'm gonna show you who I am. He takes a bite. Aramaki's like, Tch. Then he tries a few boro breaths. They don't work until it does. And then this man, Momo, uses hyper beam. He's like, yo, yo, hold up, hold up, hold up. I'll borrow this move real quick. He just shoots it like a Kamehameha wave. He uses Boro Breath on Aramaki. He melts him. This man is almost dead. Then he regenerates. And then Oda was like, hold up. I got one more in my bag. Then he brings in Shanks. Wait a minute. Is that the red hair pirates? I'm not trying to fight y'all. No, no, yo, I'm good. Yo, I gotta go back to the marine base real quick. And then all the readers were like, look at this man. That was like a 10 out of 10. And I didn't even get to the lore dump that we got. Like underwater Wano? Not enough people think it's the ancient kingdom. I'm not too sure myself whether it is or it's not. Pluton is down there. Now Robin knows, Law knows, Sukiyaki knows. Who else is gonna know? Real talk though. Chapter 1056. The scabbers get back. It turns out this whole time Kinemon wasn't even there. I swear I could have remembered. Well, I guess I must have been wrong. Kinemon was like with his wife or something. The initial reunion, we missed out on it. This arc has been suffering from severe pacing issues. The whole raid. Oh god, that was so egregiously slow. And then Luffy goes gear 5. 5 chapters later. It's already one week later. Like 1049? 1044, sorry. Was Luffy turning gear 5. And then like around chapter 1050, 1051. One week later. Like what the hell? We didn't even spend 5 chapters with the new form. How are you gonna tell me we wrap up everything? There was so many loose threads that were left. There's so many things we didn't see. But no. One week later. Kinemon already met his wife off screen something that us readers would have liked to see momo reunited with hiori something else that us readers would have liked to see regardless it doesn't matter next up inu and neko decide they're gonna stay in wano and they're gonna protect it carrot comes they're like yo carrot you see this kingdom over there the, that elephant that just pulled up and then left the chat real quick yeah that elephant you can take care of that they call the furries we're on vacation <laughs> carrot is the new ruler of zo we see some scenes with momo hiori and sukiyaki momo and hiori learned that they still have a relative that's alive uh, that was heartwarming but it turns out the other scabbers kind of knew already that sukiyaki was tenguyama hitetsu you'd think you'd spend so much time around one person you'd know that it's them underneath the mask if i were to go back and read wano from start to finish i'd probably notice some clues about that Regardless Regardless, we finally get to the good stuff. Robin just casually tells the Straw Hats about it. Frankie's like, what? I didn't even know that was real. Like, bro, you saw blueprints. What do you mean you didn't know that that was real? Unless you were thinking that those blueprints were like theoretical and that Pluton itself was never created, which is a possibility. Then Robin is, Luffy, do you want Pluton? Like, what? Are you for real? Just, are you seriously just gonna pull up to Luffy and be like, do you want Pluton? And then Luffy's like, nah. I mean, don't get me wrong. If I had the Sun God fruit, I wouldn't feel the need because I probably already have the power to destroy an island, which Luffy in Gear 5 definitely has that power. Regardless, Caribou overhears that too. So now Caribou knows about Poseidon and Pluton. He knows where both of them are and who knows who he's gonna tell. Probably Blackbeard, let's be honest. If I were to write the rest of the story, I'd probably write a plot thread where Caribou tells Blackbeard because Blackbeard is holding his brother hostage. You know how Caribou, he has a brother. I would write something where Blackbeard is holding Caribou's brother hostage. And if Caribou, wants his brother back he would have to give him something valuable anyway shinobu looks young or whatever now because of aromaki because i don't know how that works but now shinobu looks young whatever it's like they're casually talking about pluton like it's not an ancient weapon that's top secret you know what i mean this is sensitive information and they're talking about it out loud like you know but shinobu Tama overhears it shinobu looks young which was unnecessary i don't understand how aromaki himself can make shinobu look young i don't have a problem with it I'm just like wondering how exactly it happened. I'm still confused on that. Did Luffy just tell Tama that he would accept her as part of the Straw Hats if she learns ninjutsu? Did I understand that right? Or is she not? 
Because there's a good chance that God confirmed like a Jimbei situation. Jimbei got confirmed to become a straw hat way back in Fishman Island, but formally joined the ship in Wano. We, we're gonna have to see how that plays out. Luffy said you can become a Nakama when you learn ninjutsu. I'm guessing that means Tama has a place in the straw hat going forward, maybe later on. And I'm wondering when that's gonna come into play. Is she gonna appear on another island in the future? Maybe they come back to Wano for Pluton or for the ancient Wano that's underneath. Moving on, I have a small issue here. Why did Law give Kid the road poneglyph? What did Kid do to deserve it? Law probably shouldn't have given him that. I'm guessing that Oda wanted to like justify Kid reuniting with them later on in the story. So he made it so that Kid has access to that information. Luffy already has it to Robin. Law has it. Now Kid. It is what it is. Buggy! This is the most interesting part of the chapter. So Buggy, oh my god, your Buggy is a mastermind. So so look at the, the Marines, they're so smart. All these years they've been giving out bounties to all, to all these pirates, Uno Reverse. Now the Marines have bounties. Because like, you know how the fandom always discusses theoretical bounties for, for when it comes to like admirals or... I don't wanna get into power scaling. I'm not even gonna mention that. I was gonna mention the whole admiral Yonko debate. Admirals, Marines, now we can have bounties given to us for any of the marines that should give us an idea help us a little bit with power scaling it doesn't give like an exact way to power scale somebody but like it gives us a better idea of where they lie on the echelon you know what i mean so instead of the government giving out bounties for pirates now we're gonna have that as well as buggy giving out bounties for marines and who's underneath him mihawk and crocodile <sighs> How the times have changed. The community was right. Buggy probably became a Yonko by gathering warlords underneath him. Whoever came up with that, kudos to you. Now we know that Mihawk and Crocodile are still gonna be relevant somehow by becoming part of a Yonko crew. Although I don't know if they're official members of like Buggy's crew per se, but like there's this whole cross guild thing that they built. Buggy is on top of it for whatever reason. Although I like it, I'm not complaining, you know, because Buggy will become Pirate King one day and he will also become King of the World. He will sit on that throne. Ibu-sama, please, more like Buggy-sama. Finally, Yamato, this is it. This is the last chapter of one. We see Yamato departing to join the Straw Hats, right? Let's be honest, it's gonna be like a whole Odin situation. Jump and hold on to the ship and maybe Luffy's gonna say, no, you can't join, but it'll just be along the lines of like, you will not join my crew under the name of Odin. I want you to join as Yamato. I'm more like in between whatever, because I feel like Yamato is underdeveloped. Regardless, we see Yamato right behind them. Yamato is gonna be outside of Wano next chapter, just like the rest of the Straw Hats, because the story is not going back to Wano. Anyways, that was the chapter. That was a good chapter. I think I still prefer the last chapter because of the hype factor. Obviously, like, yeah, Shanks, Conquers, Hockey. But, like, the main thing that really hits the spot for me is, like, the lore dump. And that lore dump was uh, chef's kiss. So, we didn't get as much of a lore dump this chapter. We only got information on the outside world, you know, Huggy and everything. Law, Luffy, Kid, they go different ways. But wouldn't it be funny if somehow they all ended up on the same island by accident next chapter? Again. I want to see that. Even though I'm tired of seeing Law and Kid, I guess I want to see the gag. It is what it is. Whether it happens, cool, I'll laugh, I'll enjoy the gag. If it's not the case, I couldn't care less. I'm wondering where the next island is gonna be. Probably Elbaf. I wanna get there already. Especially that Usopp didn't get anything this arc. Getting off topic, thank you for watching. Like, favorite, and subscribe. Peace out.